All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Crew Show with a little 49er video. Check out Pig and a Pickle, two locations, Emeryville and Corte Madera. They're open seven days a week from 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. or until they run out. Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. This video also brought to you by Mojo Fantasy. Man, I am loving Mojo Fantasy. Check that link in the description and make sure you type in Krug in the promo code K-R-U-E-G and they will match you up to your first $100. And everybody who does it automatically is entered into a drawing to win a Bosa or a Purdy jersey tomorrow night. That's right, Thanksgiving night after Niners Seahawks. So definitely sign up at mojofantasy.com and make sure you type in that promo code Krug and get eligible to win a Bosa or a Purdy jersey. All right, let's talk a little bit about a guy who knows that he is going to be under the gun tomorrow night. <clears throat> that is... Rookie safety, Jair Brown. Talked to him yesterday in the locker room. He said, you know what? I know uh, they're coming for me. You know, I know they're going to target me. I know they're going to go at me. And guess what? I'm ready for it. And he gave you that look like, yeah, you know what? This kid is ready for it. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Jair Brown. What a great pickup this, guy, this was for the 49ers. I loved it on draft day. Um, and I love it more today. Jair Brown, former Penn State safety. Niners traded up with the Minnesota Vikings to the 87th pick overall in round three to make Jair Brown, the Penn State safety, their first pick of last year's draft. And, you know, I love this player before the draft because he weds the two, the two areas that I like to see uh, come together when I'm going to make my draft choices. And that is collegiate production that's off the charts with athleticism that's off the charts. If you can find a super athletic guy who had super great college production, draft him. That's basically the whole secret of drafting. Um, you know, pe teams take guys that have great measurables but aren't that great of players. Or they take guys who are great players but they don't have the great measurables. Um you got to marry the two elements to really hit a home run. And I think the Niners did with Jair Brown. He's a 5'11", 205-pound safety. Um, he was on the Bruce Feldman freaks list, which means that his workout numbers are off the charts. This guy power cleans, benches, squats. I mean, this guy owned the gym like very few others. So he's a freak of nature athletically as far as strength, size, explosiveness. But then he's also an incredibly productive player. He had 10 interceptions over the past two years at Happy Valley. He had 122 tackles over the last two years for Penn State. I watched this guy um, off and on, but where I really got turned on to him was the, is the Rose Bowl. Penn State, Utah, he was the MVP of that game. He was the best player on the field. The guy had eight tackles. He had an interception. He had one and a half sacks. He's, a, he's an amazing player. He probably should have gone in the first round. Why didn't he go in the first round? He didn't go in the first round simply because he ran 4.65 in the 40. If he had run 4.45, he would have gone in the first round. Instead, he fell to the third round, and the 49ers are thankful that he did. He's got incredible strength. He loves football. This is a really smart player. Now, some people would say 4.65, isn't that kind of slow? Yeah, well, you know who ran slower than that? Talanoa Hufanga, who was an all-pro. Speed at safety is a really deceiving thing. If you have speed, but you don't have instincts, you're just for, and you diagnose incorrectly, you're just further away from the play. So your speed works against you. Guys who have run in the four sixes and four sevens can't play on the corner in the NFL because it's a speed dominant position. But at safety, if you have great instincts, you can play in the NFL running four six five or four seven six. I think is what. Hafanga may have run. This kid loves football. Jair Brown is a really smart player. He's a leader. Um, and this is exactly what the Niners needed going into this year. Why? Because they lost Jimmy Ward and they lost Emmanuel Mosley. Uh, those are not just two of their better players in the secondary. Those were their true alphas. Those were their true leaders back there. And they needed a new crop of young leaders. And they, brought, they drafted Jair Brown and he fits the bill. He's versatile. He can cover that deep middle if you need him to. He's a tone setter. This is a tone setting player. This is a culture player. This guy's a passionate leader. This is a guy who loves ball. 
And when you love ball, and that means you love the process of ball, that means you watch the film, you do the lifting, you do everything that you need to do between game days to get ready to play your best football. And that's what I love about this kid. He was coached really well at Penn State by the great Manny Diaz, who was a phenomenal defensive coordinator. Manny called him the ultimate warrior. <laughs> I mean, that right there is enough for me. Um, he's one of four kids. He grew up in Trenton, Trenton, New Jersey, which is a tough, tough area for sure. He went to Trenton Catholic High School. He was the team captain, and he played cornerback um, his his couple last couple of years there. First team All State basketball player. You know this guy lettered in basketball. He averaged seven steals per game. In fact, Jair Brown set the New Jersey State record for steals from a basketball player that stands to this moment. So what does that tell you? What does it take to steal the ball in basketball? You gotta have anticipation, you gotta be thinking, you gotta be competitive, you gotta want it, but you gotta have a great break on the ball. What do you need to be a great safety in the NFL? All those exact same traits. And then this kid went to Lackawanna Junior College. He played high school ball with Jaquan Brisker, the, the, the Chicago Bears safety. Then they both went to Lackawanna College and they led that Lackawanna JC program to an 11-0 record. Then he goes to Penn State and plays five seasons, followed Brisker there as well. The 40-yard the time is not that big of a deal because the 10-yard split is phenomenal. One five six ten 10-yard split. You know, we've been talking about Brock Purdy's one five four ten 10-yard split and how incredible that is, and it really is. And it shows that Purdy's got great quickness. But Jair Brown's got that same kind of you know, short area quickness that you love to see. Uh, he's aggressive in run support. He's a driven, competitive, high character, a focused, intelligent football player who plays with incredible intensity. And I can't wait to watch him uh, tomorrow night in Seattle. Now at Penn State, they played a lot of cover six, which is, you know, kind of a blend of cover four, cover two. You hear people describe it as quarter, quarter, half. And so, you know, he can play, he can play in a lot of different defenses. He's, he's what I would call scheme versatile. He, he can play in the cover three and he can play the deep middle. He can play in the cover three and, and play in the box. Uh, he can play obviously in any kind of split safety look. This is a versatile guy who's scheme versatile. So his mother, Joy, nicknamed him Tig because he was always as a baby bouncing around the house like Tigger from, from Winnie the Pooh. It's an incredible story. But this guy's got, just to talk to him in the locker room the last few days, there's a belief that he has in himself and a belief that the other guys have in him that is really, really cool to see. And I think he's going to play great. I'm not, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not fearful at all of the Niners plugging a safety into such a high-profile national TV Thanksgiving Day game. He said, man, I'm ready for it. Um, he, you know, people were like, hey, they're coming at you. And he's like, I know it, and I'm ready. So... It's going to be fun to watch him. Jair Brown, number 27. He had the interception last week against the Bucks that sealed the victory. He's a hell of a kid, a hell of a draft choice. Adam Peters and John Lynch should be very proud. And Niner fans starting tomorrow night are really going to get a chance to know him. And the nation is going to get a chance to see this kid on the national stage, and I'm excited to see it. All right, thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor of The Krug Show. And, of course, thanks to Mojo Fantasy. Check that link in the description and type in the promo code KRUG, and uh, they'll match you up to your first $100 at mojofantasy.com. And thanks to all you guys for supporting The Krug Show on YouTube.